Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Pastiology by Vimal. If you're new to this channel, my name is Vimal. I'm a pastry chef. In today's video, we'll be making a super rich and creamy white chocolate cheesecake with some fresh berries. Let's get started. Let's start by making the cheesecake base first. For that you need 50 grams of digestive biscuit powder and add 20 ml of melted unsalted butter into it. Give it a good mix and prepare your cheesecake base. That's it. It's super easy to make. Now let's start making our cheesecake batter. 100 grams of fresh cream, 100 grams of cream cheese, one whole egg, 100 grams of white chocolate and 50 grams of mascarpone cheese. Start with boiling your fresh cream and pour it on top of your white chocolate and give it a good mix until your white chocolate melts into the cream completely. Add the rest of the ingredient and using a hand blender, blend it really well to create a smooth, silky batter. So that's it, our cheesecake batter is ready. The best part of this recipe is that there is no added sugar in this. The white chocolate gives the sweetness to this cheesecake and it is super creamy in texture. Now let's bake this at 120 degrees Celsius on a double boiler for one hour. That means we'll be adding some water onto the tray where we bake the cheesecake. So that's it, our cheesecake is baked. You can see nice and smooth texture on top. Let's cool it down before you demold it from the cheesecake ring. Demold it from the cheesecake ring and decorate it with some fresh berries on top. There are many ways of decorating your cheesecake. You can put some fruit compote on top, you can put some berry compote on top, whipped ganache, uh, chocolate ganache, caramel and there are many more ways to decorate your cheesecake. I want to keep it as simple as possible for you guys to try it. So I'm just gonna put some fresh berries on top. So that's all from me guys. Hope you all learn and enjoy this video. It is super easy to make. You mix all ingredients together using a hand blender and you bake it at 120 degrees Celsius. How easy is that? So definitely do try this and tag me on my Instagram handle given below. I'll see you all in the next video with a new recipe.